fourth chakra, Anahata chakra, the heart chakra, the heart cave. This chakra, we could think it's one of the most important. All chakras are important. But this particular chakra, it's about love. It's about balance. We can see how in this system of seven chakras, the fourth chakra is in the middle. There's three chakras below, three chakras above. And this invites us to balance, find that equilibrium. Learn how to balance your life. We're always changing, we're always swifting, we always have ups and downs. Chakra, Anahata Chakra's challenge is finding that center point, finding the balance. The element of the chakra is air, the air element, the air element. So this chakra invites us to breathe, breathe in the air. Color green relates to green forests, lush green vegetables, forest, jungle, where the air is the purest. So a good way to purify this chakra is going out to a green forest and breathing, deeply breathing. This chakra has to do the expansion of our breath, expansion of our chest, expansion. This is growth. Most people stay stuck in the first three chakras. And our challenge is to elevate our energy and grow. Heart chakra. Most of the times, all over the world, most relationships, even if they're called love, it's love that people learn from soap operas, from movies, from romantic songs. And this normally has nothing to do with love. It's more about manipulation, controlling those unequal, unbalanced relationships. Mom and son or dad and daughter relationships between lovers. When one has more power, when one is controlling, or when we are needy and and we develop a, a, a codependency or dependency relationship. This is not healthy. This is not real love. We've come into a point where everybody can define love at their own terms. And this is not love. Love is defined by uncondition, unconditional love. This is real love. There's no conditions. There's acceptance. We're not trying to change anybody. If we're judging, if we're expecting somebody to be a certain way, this is not love. This is just putting a barrier, just saying, I love you, but if you do this, I don't love you any longer. This is not real love. This is not unconditional. This is just expecting feeding our ego. Because when we get hurt, when we hurt our partner, we're actually hurting their ego. And our heart chakra is inviting us to go beyond the ego. I know it's impossible to live without an ego. Our body-mind is our ego. We cannot have a human experience without ego. But the heart chakra's challenge is to change our focus from just seeing what, what's good for me, my egoism, what, what I need, what's, what's in it for me, to start focusing towards the others, towards giving. Heart chakra is about giving, about accepting. This is love. Heart chakra, this air element has to do with touch, with our skin. This is how, how this is connected. Air element connects with our skin, connects with our hands, our ability to touch. Air element. How can we then use this to heal our heart chakra? With hugs, with touch, with massage, making love. This 
heals our heart chakra. The skin contact, human contact, and also, of course, breathing, pranayama practice. All breathing techniques are good for the heart chakra. It's about expanding, expanding our breath. At the same time, yogic practices for heart chakra, elevating our sternum and getting our shoulder blades backwards and downwards. So what we call heart opening postures like back bends, like the cobra posture, where we're expanding and opening our heart. This is what the heart chakra is about. Opening up, finding balance, giving. Also, using this green color, we can feed upon, feed with green leaves, green food. This is what feeds this heart chakra. Eating all these greens, color green, this chlorophyll, it's the sun's crystallized energy. The sun, this is our main life source. Most people have unhealthy breathing patterns, what we call paradoxical breathing. When you're inhaling, your belly goes in. When you're exhaling, your belly goes out. This is paradoxical breathing. Healthy breathing, your belly goes out when you inhale, your belly goes in when you exhale. This is the healthy breathing patterns. Our heart chakra is between our fire chakra, Manipura, third chakra, and our communication chakra, Vishuddha. So it relates a lot to this communication and power. Communication is so important in a relationship. Clear communication, empathetic communication, non-aggressive communication, honest communication. It's basic communication, basis of our relationship. Most relationships have lies. People hide things. It, it, this is just not healthy. A real healthy relationship has no lies. No lies. Heart chakras cl cloud, heart chakras ghost. Sadness, grief, processing, processing those old relationships that we might feel hurt from, that we might feel emotionally abandoned. And this is why it's so important to have our third chakra really active so we can digest, so we can process. There is a connection between these chakras. Heart chakra is about developing independency. And when we're independent, when we love ourselves, we can connect on a different level with other people that love themselves too. Independency can even stretch out to financial independency, growth in all aspects of our life. Heart chakra is this bridge between our lower nature and our spiritual nature, our spiritual practice. First chakra, survival, money. Second chakra, sex, third chakra, power. And this is the trilogy where most people stay stuck at. Money, sex, power. Most people just stay there and become rich and have a lot of sex and lots of power. We want to go beyond this and activate the heart chakra. This is our human evolution. Heart chakra, love. Love is the most important thing in our life. It is said that our soul resides in our heart. This is our home, our heart cave. We want to go deep inside our heart cave. Through meditation, centering in our heart center, we can go deep inside. Find what's inside your heart. Listen to your heart. When we say listen to your heart, we normally say it in a metaphorical way. But actually, it's literal. If you can tune in to hearing the sound of your heartbeat, then you're tuning with yourself, with your heart chakra. 
if we can expand our attention and be able to hear our heartbeat any time we have our heart chakra activated. Giving without expectation. This is the most important thing about the heart. Learning to give. Learning to accept. about empathy fourth chakra has so many imbalances like for example fearing intimacy fearing connection not being ourselves purifying and activating this heart chakra is about being ourselves our true self connecting through love growing, expanding. The air is the source of prana, the vital force, the vital energy. Most important thing in our life, what keeps us alive, prana. Heart chakra is about forgiving, letting go. Let go of those expectations. Love yourself. Love yourself so you can love others. The air element, the air is about movement. Movement. Heart chakra is about movement. Not being stagnant, not getting stuck. And lots of times in these toxic relationships, we get stuck. We need to move. We need to get that movement going. That's what the air does. The air cleans and moves. Dancing, moving. Moving our body, moving our mind. This is what's going to let us really be ourselves and not stay stuck. If we're stuck, we're not growing, we're not getting anywhere.